Hey. What is happening? <laughs> We're online. Happy Thursday, Wednesday. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. And we're glad to see you. Yes, this is the Wednesday night hour of power prayer meeting. I know he's teasing me. <laughs> Her words run together sometimes. <laughs> hey, uh, log on there and tell us who you are. We'll do a few minutes of intros and comment that you're live with us and hopefully we're all doing it right and things are good there we go hi, hi shirley good to see you shirley yes the lord is with you and your family we know god is faithful I'm praying for you guys amen amen we got a few more coming they're jumping on they're getting home from work and joining in the prayer meeting they didn't get home they've been at home <laughs> They're switching over from their work computer to their prayer computer. Yes. Log on there and tell us your Hi, you're on. Helen. Helen, glad to see you Thank woke you. up today. <laughs> Audrey. Hey, Audrey. And Linda. Hi, Linda. Nice Hi. to see you. Wow. Good to, good to see you. That's this is our Wednesday hour of power prayer meeting. Wow. We're and about a thousand people join us every Wednesday. Uh, from all over the world, many, many countries. And uh, we're trying to instill in each of you that if you have a prayer need along our system that we use, uh, you can just log it in there. And if you if it needs to be private, you can send the email. And there's people manning the email uh, line tonight to help you uh, get your prayer need in. So if you've got something you want us to pray with you about, Please don't hesitate. I've got some powerful prayer warriors. And we're praying for some of those unspoken requests too that don't need to be put out in public, but God knows exactly what they need. And he has already commissioned his guardian angels to the location where those needs are needing to be taken care of. And so we know, hi, Courtney. We know that God is going to do amazing things. Hi, Esther. Uh, it's just awesome to be able to come together and I want you to know that every Wednesday night, when we're in the church, whether we're out of the church, I like to say, welcome to God's house. Welcome to the family. Um, you came to this prayer meeting tonight, either to share your faith with someone else, as two or three agree as touching anything, it's done, or because you need something and you need that encouragement, that gasoline in your tank that gets you down the road a little bit farther and you're not standing alone in your battles. God is preparing you for victory. And we know that our faith moves us on those mountains. And so I'm excited about what I have to tell you as we start always some thanksgiving for what we prayed for last week. So first, as you're joining on, as many of you are joining on and you're Log watching on. this. Just let us know you're there. Yep. Go ahead and tell us hi. I was so happy on Sunday. Several of our, and I know some of you are just getting off work or whatever. Even I've had people listening in on their ears on the way on their bus or their train. So um, I want you to know that God is with you. Amen. And so I want you to just, if you can, if you're not driving, if you're sitting or riding. <laughs> And if people are around you, you can not raise your hands if you don't want to. But I just want to invite the Holy Spirit to Holy lift Spirit. our faith tonight. So, Lord, I thank you. Yes, I thank you for every yes, person Lord. that will at some point in time be a part of this prayer meeting tonight on Wednesday, July the 15th of 2020. You know the date. You know the hour. You know the need. And nothing has taken you by surprise, yes, not one Lord. circumstance. Yes, and so Lord. today, as we begin to celebrate the victories, we are also praying for those that are yes, in the middle Lord. of their journey, that they would also know the victory and the peace that comes from trusting you. So we give you this night of prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hi, Joey. Yay, I'm glad to see you, Joey. I don't, I don't know if I got to see you on Sunday, but Just I'm glad you're logging here. In there. We love it. It's and, great. And state your name. And uh... Hi, Veronica. Awesome. Listen, I have to tell you two really amazing Wait answers to, to prayer. So last Wednesday, if you remember, my friend Lisa, her husband was in a terrible motorcycle accident. He was in intensive care. Um, he ultimately did have to have 
part of his leg amputated. But, but they he, didn't give him any hope. He was not doing well. And because of COVID-19 and everything else, she couldn't get there to be with him. Um, I want you to know that the next morning, so Wednesday we prayed, Thursday morning, he woke up, his brain woke up in ICU. He realized even what had happened to his leg. And she said, his faith is strong. His voice is strong. He knows that God watched over him. It was just a miracle. They were hit by a drunk driver. Um, he was on a motorcycle. So we prayed. His name is Stacy. Would you just continue to pray for the healing of Stacy? Hi, Anuja. God bless you. But we want to pray for Stacy in Louisiana as he is recovering from this terrible motorcycle accident. But last Wednesday we prayed. He was not well at all in intensive care. And now he's uh, on his way in just a little while, a couple more days maybe, he'll be going to rehab. That is a miracle. We also prayed for our dear friend, Bethany, who is battling Lyme disease. And she's from Church Alive. And a lot of the ladies, Bethany has been to many of our events in Rome, loves children, loves her family, loves the work of the ministry. Um, she was in intensive care last Wednesday. Really, honestly, she said, I didn't know if I was going to survive this time. Her blood pressure was just crazy. Everything was terrible. On Thursday, I got news, and then later on in the week, I got more news that for the first time in months, many of her symptoms really diminished. She got remarkably better. She's out of the hospital. Praise God for Bethany. <laughs> she has gone to her Lyme doctor um, who is in Washington, D.C. She was able to travel. She was able to have a good report. He is encouraging her that the treatments are almost to that point where they're trying to reboot a system from Lyme disease. So I just thank God. Thank you for praying for Stacy. Thank you for praying for Bethany. Um, and when we pray for something that you have, I just want you to know God hears the prayers. The righteous prayers are very Amen. effective. Amen. And so thanks for joining Tiffany and Arita and Joey. God bless you guys for joining us. And Denise, uh, boy, good to see you, Denise. Um, you know, it's amazing how that this prayer meeting, um, we, we took it on because, you know, because of COVID-19 and all of a sudden it started to well, explode. Well, the prayer meeting online. Yeah, online. We've been <laughs> doing the prayer meeting on in our church in Rome for since I came to Rome in 2014. And uh, now online, this thing has exploded. And uh, you don't always see the numbers, you know, on that because they're, loading in from other other situations but um i want you to know tonight as we pray if you're joining us for the first time we have three sections of prayer and then we intersperse personal needs that have been written into us um in between the three categories we pray for our world we pray for italy and we pray for our church and uh, so we section those off and um, because the world is praying with us, there's many countries that are represented already tonight, and we pray specifically for their country. So in a moment, when we start this prayer meeting, we want you to feel free to pray. We stop and pray. We stop and praise, because <laughs> this is all about prayer and uh, talking to God. So what way we like to start every Wednesday is just spend a few moments with me, and we're going to start praising the Lord and thanking the Lord for his goodness. Pastor Jen's already said some answers to prayer that we just received uh, knowledge of um, from last week's prayer meeting. And uh, so thank you for joining us. And those of you that are jumping on to uh, pray with us tonight, God bless you. And I can just tell you, one prayer away from a miracle. Amen. You've heard me say it for years. One prayer. <laughs> one prayer. How about tonight's prayer being your prayer that you need for your miracle? Mm -hmm. 
So let's begin by thanking thank the Lord. Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. We love you, Lord. We invite you to this we house, you, God. Jesus. We invite you to this thank meeting, you, Jesus. Thank you this is not just about friends. people. This is all oh, about you, yes, Jesus. It's about you, you thanking you, Lord, you mighty, for helping God. us, oh God, you, and taking care You're of us, worthy, oh God. Lord. And a God that we loves love you, to Jesus. listen to his people. Thank you, God. Thank you Lord, thank for you all for those that have joined us already and that will be joining us. And those because of time zones will be listening to this prayer meeting later. Later oh, on, God, we Lord, we you. thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you in advance you, for answering thank the you, prayers Jesus. that we're going to pray thank tonight, you, Lord. Jesus. You're going to listen yes. to the prayers of your people. Thank we you, thank Jesus. you for all the prayers that were answered. We thank you, Lord, for Stacy and yes. the progress that thank has already you, been made thank in you, that Jesus. miracle for thank a man, you, God, that was about to lose his life. And God, thank he you, is Jesus. now on the road to recovery. You, Lord, I just thank know you, he's not out of the woods yet, and he's going to need a lot of help. God, for the family. Lord, yes, the wife, Jesus. dear God, be with her, yes, Jesus. But we thank you for Jesus. him. We thank you for yes. answering that prayer. We yes. pray and we thank you for Bethany tonight. Thank yes. you for what you're doing in her life and the other needs, oh Lord. God, we thank you for those this past weekend that gave their lives yes. to you, Jesus, Hallelujah. through the various thank platforms you, of ministry, thank through you, our Lord online God. campuses, thank you, Jesus. God, through thank the you, uh, live campus here in Rome. God, thank you for doing that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Oh, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. So thank as we you, start, we're going to start by um, praying for our world. And we have one crisis country. Of course, a lot of our Country every are, nation needs help, mm -hmm. but one country they've had to call in outsiders, and that's Mali, M A L I. And uh, so, we're going to pray for that country. They've had uh, there's an uprising there in that country, and so they've called in an outside diplomat to manage and hopefully give some way of getting the various parties. It's multiple parties, uh, multiple people have been killed. Uh, there's just a lot of unrest, and um, so there needs to be peace in that country. And before we pray for Molly, I want you to understand something. We sometimes think, I'm praying for a country where I don't know anybody, or where I, maybe I know one person, or I've heard of something. I've shared this before, but on a Wednesday night, we prayed for a country that was having all this terrible unrest. And the man said the the warriors, um, the the enemy army of the of the community was at his village where his family was living, and he was in fear for their life. And we prayed, and immediately that it system stopped at the village. It, they did not go in. They turned around and retreated. And he said, peace came to our region after we prayed. Now I want you to tell you one more about countries that are so, sometimes they feel far removed from us, even here in Italy. We prayed for, we pray for religious leaders. We pray for government leaders of the world. We pray for countries that are in turmoil. One of the countries we have prayed for is Malawi. And just last month or within the last couple of weeks, they have elected a new president in Malawi, who is a spirit-filled assembly of God national leader has now become the president of his country. Don't tell me God doesn't answer our prayer when we pray for our countries. The Bible says when we seek his face and we repent and we say, God, we need you. We can't do things in our own that he hear, we hear from heaven and he heals the land. Yes. So we're going to pray tonight for Mali. They need their land to be healed. Many of your countries where, yes, we're praying for America. We're praying for a lot of places. But I want you to know when we pray, when God's people pray, something happens in the supernatural yes. that disperses yes. the enemy and causes them to retreat and be defeated. Amen. Amen. And so on the on the line there, as you can see, yes. someone's asking us to pray uh, for South Sudan and uh, America and, and there's others being written. And we'll do the us. individual needs in just a moment. And we'll get into the individual. Anytime you can write that on there. I've got team members on there helping us to keep track of everything. So don't feel like, hey, I've said something. There's people watching it, monitoring it for us. And uh, But we're going to pray. And so right now in this section of our prayer, I'm inviting you to pray for Mali. And then spend a few minutes praying for that yes. country, the unrest there. 
but then go ahead and pray for your country. Yes. Now, I like to call out a lot of countries mm -hmm. during this time, but if I don't call every country, you know, there's a lot of countries, 200 and some countries. So uh, I'm going to call out a lot, but you pray. You spend the few moments that we pray for our countries. You pray for that country and watch God move on behalf of your prayers. And you can pray. You know the countries that are neighboring to your country. You can also say, Lord, I ask you to touch this one and this one and this one. And together, we are touching the world. We're reaching Amen. nations. All right, so let's prayers. go to prayer. Hallelujah. Lord, Father, we, love we you. thank, we you, thank Jesus. you, Jesus, right We're now calling that on you're going to listen God. to oh, our yes. prayers because we you love you, us and you Father. love the world. God, and we God, ask you there for the are people so many people in these nations. Right now, Lord, God, that we're calling Mali, on Lord the God, people in the name of Mali, of Jesus. God, and Jesus' name. Lord God, God, you know the uprising that's happened. You know the reason they had to call in some Lord outsiders God, help to those help who are helping. negotiate yes, peace Jesus. there. God, I just pray Thank that you, those Jesus. that are Thank upset. You, they're not happy about oh, something God, award peace, and the way the policies have been written. God, I pray in oh, Jesus' God, name, there will be a resolution the and there will be a resolve yes, to this problem. Lord, God, God that country does not need Jesus. a war. Oh, that country God, needs peace. You, and God, I pray in the we name of Jesus you, Lord, that peace will thank come to Mali. You, God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord. I pray for South Sudan. I pray for the Confusion. confusion there and the oh, difficulty. God. I pray for Bring Sudan, clarity, God. Lord I pray for that country, God. Oh, I pray for Kenya, oh, God. I pray for Nigeria. I pray for Ethiopia. God, and the shortages in the electronic oh, division God, of that country. They Jesus had to shut India. the internet down oh, for the God. entire country, Lord. Oh, God, Jesus, restore. Jesus, restore Jesus. it properly, Lord. Oh, God, help, help those guys help know what to do and make decisions. God, I pray for Malawi, God, and that new superintendent that is now the president of God. God, God, put a hedge of protection, a protection around, him. around that man. I pray yes, for South Africa, Africa. I pray for Zimbabwe. I pray, pray for Zambia. Yes, God, I pray Lord for God. Ivory Coast. I pray Hallelujah. for Uganda, God. Hallelujah, I pray Jesus. for uh, Lebanon, God. Yes, I pray for Jesus. Egypt, God. Oh, I pray Lord, for Lord, Israel, God. Lord, Lord, I pray for Russia, God. Oh, God. I pray for God, Indonesia. I pray for China. I pray for Japan. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the in the name of Jesus, I pray oh, for God, India. God, and so many of our people yes, are in Jesus. India right now. God, I pray yes, for Sri Lord Lanka, God. God. I pray Jesus. in the name of Jesus Hallelujah, that you'll help those Jesus. countries. Oh, help them, God, God. I pray. Let I pray in Jesus' in name. name. I pray for Jesus. Malta, God. Oh, I pray for France. God. I pray for Jesus. Spain. Hallelujah. I pray for Germany. Oh, I pray for God. Belgium, God. I pray for Switzerland, oh God. I pray for England, oh God. I pray for Ireland, oh God. I pray for for these countries, Canada, God. Lord God. I pray for oh, the Americas, pray God. For the Lord, I pray in the name South of Jesus America, for Lord Mexico, God. For God. Latin America and the Caribbean, God, Lord I pray Jesus. in the name of Jesus oh, that peace you, will come God. over our world. God, I pray God, for those in Venezuela, Venezuela Jesus, and Yugoslavia those are in and Peru, Lord God. I pray that Work, you them, out, pray. Work the them out, I pray. Let Work the them out, I pray. Work them out, I pray. God, we thank you that you put Christians in very strategic places of influence in many of these countries. So, Lord, we call on the heavens angels Hallelujah. to Hallelujah. surround every Christian leader who's in yes, these countries Lord. that yes, have been Lord. positioned. Yes, God, we know yes, many of Lord. them get yes, weary Lord. and they're yes, not Lord. sure if they're moving yes, in the right Lord. direction, yes, but God, Lord. let them know yes, that they, you have positioned them for such a time Blessed as this. Name, Just Jesus. like this Blessed president in Malawi, God, there are other men and women that are in strategic leadership influence places. I know there are women and men in South Sudan who love you, who believe in you, Jesus Christ, and you have positioned them at a table of decision for their nation, God. Yes. I pray that they would be strong in the faith, that they yes. would be strong in Christ values, that they would be strong and persevere in the time of difficulty. Lord, I pray for leaders throughout our globe that are dealing with the yes, pandemic, God. with yes, COVID-19. God, God yes, we God. ask you, we're coming to you again. Yes, we Jesus. have seen it diminish. We have seen numbers improve on people who are not dying, who yes, are recovering, yes, who Jesus. are getting better. Yes. And Lord, we pray that as Christ followers, oh we will not hear the bad news and be discouraged, but we will hear the good news of Jesus yes, that yes. says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. 
and that we can have health and healing and abundant peace and Hallelujah. security. Hallelujah. So we thank you, God, that thank this you, COVID-19 is finished. It is executed in the name of Jesus and immune systems are going to be strong. Hallelujah. Lord, we Hallelujah. pray in Jesus' name Hallelujah. that there will be no fear Hallelujah. in these nations. Now let's thank the Lord Hallelujah. for answering the prayers Hallelujah. for the world. Let's spend a, thank a minute you, or two Jesus. just thanking thank the Lord. Lord, Lord we thank, thank you. Jesus. Thank, thank the Lord you, for Jesus. answering our prayers. Thank, thank you for Jesus. listening to our prayers, thank oh God. Jesus. Thank oh you, God, that we can call on you, Lord. Heal our lands, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. We honor you, God. Thank you, God, for Christians that are crying out to you, Lord Jesus. For hearing our prayers, listening to the people's prayers tonight. As they called out for their Hallelujah, countries and Jesus. their situation, thank oh God. You, God, we thank you for doing thank that. You, we thank you for doing that. Hallelujah, in the Jesus. name of Jesus. Hallelujah, in the Jesus. name of Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, as we begin to pray over some of these specific requests, I pray that you would know again that you have positioned people to be full of the power of the Holy Spirit so that when you pray, you pray believing. Yes. You pray knowing that God is faithful. Yes. And so tonight we are praying for Linda's friend, Sarah, that has cancer. And also Linda has asked specific prayer for the president of America, President Trump. We know that each leader tries to do the best they can. We believe that. So, Lord, we agree with Linda tonight for yes. Sarah and President Trump yes. in America. Yes. God, that you would intervene, that you would heal a sick body, that you would heal a sick nation, that that you would bring healing and restoration to these prayer requests. We thank you for it. God, we pray for Brandy, pastor in Spain, who has started her treatment. Barcelona. God, I pray that you would strengthen her. I thank you for her trust in you and her joy with you. And we come against breast cancer. Yes. You might have I breast cancer. It. You may know someone with breast cancer. In the name of any Jesus. Any kind of cancer, but specifically right now, breast cancer. I believe God, I've seen him heal it. Yes. I've, I've yes. witnessed women who have, even my own father at one point had breast cancer and God healed him of it. Hallelujah. So I want you to know God Hallelujah. is healing Hallelujah. that cancer Hallelujah. Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. We pray for Yeti's um, uncle who is currently in intensive care in America. So God, would you touch this uncle? Yes. We pray for you, Yeti's uncle in America in intensive care. God, you can turn the blood levels around. You can turn the blood turn pressure around. around. You can strengthen that heart. You can cause the lungs to be free of any fluid or pressure. You can cause that body to be free of infection yes. and the fever to come yes, down. Jesus. God, we saw you do it in Bethany Hallelujah. on Thursday morning last week. So we're asking you for this uncle. Yes. We've yes. seen it in Ernest and Anna's brother, who also was very sick in Canada. And God, you took it away. Yes. So God, we thank yes. you for yes. healing this man in America that's in intensive care and giving him faith. Give him nurses that are full of faith that will encourage him and bless him in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, we Lord. also ask you, Lord God, for um, those situations that are in specifically in South Sudan. I know we have prayed for that, but I want you to know you are not alone. And we are standing with you. You may feel sometimes like there aren't that many Christ followers. There aren't that many faith-filled believers. But right. I want you to know that's not true. That's a lie of the enemy. And right. so we are strong. We will not be the silent majority. Right, we hear right. that sometimes. You know, the world and the evil around the world makes a big, loud ruckus. I want us as Christ followers to make a big, loud ruckus in heaven yeah. where the Lord comes through on behalf of his people. Remember? Remember what God told the prophet, get yourself out of the cave and look around. You're not the only one. God's saying to you right now, get yourself out of the cave. You may think you're all by yourself. You're isolated by yourself. There are others that are ready to stand in the gap with you. They're, they're, they're in your country. You're saying, oh no, I'm the only one. No, 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 no. God's got them. Get yourself out of the cave, look around, get the word out and watch what God will do. I can believe for a revival in South Sudan. Yes. And you know why we've launched those two campuses there in South Sudan? Because They're we online believe campuses. online campuses, because we're believing God for a supernatural revival in South Sudan. Mm -hmm. And you say, well, what about my country? God's for your country too. Yes. 
I'm telling you, God is for your country. So thank and you. as we pray for these countries, as we pray for these burdens that are on our hearts, I want you to remember that during this time, whether you're coming out of lockdown or you're having to go back into lockdown in some places or you're just starting the lockdown, this is not a time to be alone. Right. So you can have an online campus. You can do a watch party. You can do things where you invite four or five friends and you say, let's, let's go to church together online. You can have your snack and your lunch afterwards together online and celebrate the victories. Right. Don't pull away. Don't isolate yourself. Don't look backwards. Look forward and know that God has positioned yes. you yes. for such somebody needs your voice. Some Somebody needs your word of encouragement. Yes, yes. And so we want to encourage you in that as well. All right. as I we... also want to pray for um, One more. Dominic, who is having allergies and having to take many shots per every week. And so I know that there are many children and adults. I have a seafood allergy myself, but I believe that God can heal these allergies. And so I want you to begin to pray for those who have allergies, allergies that um, spring allergies that, you know, now everybody's afraid to cough or sneeze because they don't want somebody to think it's something else. But allergies are a problem. They give us a lot of side effects that aren't good. Right. So right. I want That's... us to pray for those who have allergies. Hallelujah. Father, right now, in Jesus name, yes. we come against those with allergies. I pray yes. that the yes. histamine system in their body would stop yes. reacting. Acting yes. to trees and flowers and dust. Yes. I pray that their sinuses would be open Alleluia. and not inflamed Alleluia. and that the medicine and the and the prescriptions that the doctors have given, Alleluia. Lord, that it would Alleluia. work and that the, the allergy symptoms would go away and healing would happen. Alleluia. I thank you that Alleluia. we have witnessed it. No problem is too Alleluia. big. No problem Alleluia. is too small. We're asking you to yes, move on behalf yes, of these children. Yes. Put a hedge of protection around those children that have food allergies. Yes. I know parents worry about God, them when they're with Dominic others. Tonight. So Heal we pray in Jesus' name in Jesus that you would name. touch their bodies and God, let them see victory going in their healing. In we thank you for it, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Our second area that we pray for in our hour of power is we pray for Italy. Now, because we're, our home base is in Rome, uh, we pray for Rome, we pray for Italy, the nation. And I want to just bring you up to date. A lot of us here in Italy are waiting on the prime minister's announcement. Um, he made the official ruling uh, this week that they are going to extend to the 31st of this month the rulings uh, of, for COVID. And uh, we knew that was already happening, but he is supposed to. So that's all that's written into law right now, that all the rulings that we've had will be will be finished as of this ruling on the 31st. So we're praying for the COVID. And if you've been following, our numbers are low, 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 and they keep going lower. And we, we're going to pray that it just gets out of our country because we, we need to open. And so we're going to pray for uh, Italy. We're going to pray for Rome. We're going to pray for uh, that God does a spiritual awakening in this entire nation. And that this uh, lockdown quarantine that we've had in our country uh, for so many months, we're going to be open and things are going to be different. So let's pray for Italy. Let's pray for Rome, the other major cities. So you, let's spend this next few moments praying for our country. Will Amen. you do that with Amen. me? Thank Lord, you, Lord, we thank you, Jesus, Father, right now for Father, we thank you that you have brought us here. God, I pray we in love the name Italy, of Lord Jesus. God. We love this we place where you have planted us. So, God, we God, pray for every pray leader. We pray for every Spirit, mayor. God, we pray for every police force. We God, pray for pray doctors and medical. I pray for schooling and educators, Lord God, that are making decisions for the fall for our children in Italy. Oh, God, we ask you for the churches, Lord God. I pray for the Thank you for the pastors, Jesus, of this country, God. Lord, I pray, I pray for, for the every the generation, generation of, of this country, Lord, Lord God. I pray. I pray God, for, for the, the young and the old, Lord God, that they would the hospital, know you, that they would recognize you, Lord country, God. We thank you, Jesus. I pray Jesus. for the government thank of this you, country, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. I pray in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus Hallelujah. that God, you will Praise move in amongst us in every category, oh God. Every category, oh God. Let there be a spiritual uprising, a spiritual desire 
for hungering yes, and hallelujah. going after more of you, God. Hallelujah. Let there be a revival that come you, to Jesus. our country, oh God. Jesus. We need a supernatural oh, move of God, God for our entire country, yes, oh Lord. Lord God, let us not be limited to think, God, yes, this can't Lord, happen. Hallelujah. God, yes, you can Lord, do God, all things. Our faith. I thank you, Lord, increase for believing faith. that you yes, can move hallelujah. amongst us. Hallelujah. Thank you for doing that, And Jesus. Father, I thank you. You said that we would mount up on wings like eagles. We would run and not faint. We would walk and not be weary. So God, I come against any weariness in our country or anyone else's for that matter. But for those of us that live in Italy, that you would not be weary in well-doing. You would not be weary in following Jesus. Jesus. And listen to me, the enemy is so subtle. He's so sly. He tricks you into thinking, oh, it's okay. I can go this way or I can go that way. We've been talking about faith moves our decisions on Sunday, but I want you to press into Jesus when we pray. And we ask God to touch us where we live. Then that means we also have to press in and grab hold of Jesus. He is the anchor that holds us when the storm comes by. So right now, specifically, God, I pray against a spirit of weariness and a spirit of quitting, a spirit of giving up, a spirit of discouragement, a spirit of despair that is finished and defeated in the in the name of Jesus. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound Sound mind, mind. a sound mind that's based on the word of God and the promises of God. And we've seen where God has brought us from and we know that he has a great plan ahead. But even right now, I can't stress it enough, even right now where you are in Italy, God has you there for a reason for this moment. Even where you are and you're joining us online, God has a reason for this moment. So I want us to pray, God, forgive me for being complacent. Forgive me for losing my passion. Forgive me, Lord, for not trusting that you could be the joy that gives me strength. So God, I pray for joy in Italy. I pray for the laughter. I pray for the music. I pray for the hearts to come alive. And Lord, Lord, I thank you that we will not be weary in trusting the Lord. Lord. Don't let the world's mindset and attitude get on any of us, Lord God. We have been brought here to be beacons of hope, of faith, of joy, of life. We have a message of hope and God is with us. So we will not let that spirit of fear and weariness be on us. Mary Davina is another one. She's just joined us and we've been praying for Mary. Thank you, Courtney, for that scripture, Isaiah 40, 31. Yes, Mary and her family have experienced some sickness. So we are praying right now for Mary in India. God, I pray that you continue to heal mother, father, Mary, and her brother. I pray that any fevers, any aches and pains, any coughing, that any infection would be gone in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you've already begun to heal. They've seen it. They've witnessed it. So Lord, we pray right now that there would be faith and confidence that you are in control. And we thank you for healing Mary. We also want to pray for Josh, Linda's friend, who was in an accident, had third degree burns, lost his eye. So right now, will you type in the chat? We're praying for Josh that his skin would go grow back yes, and that he would be comforted even though he's lost one eye. So Father, right now we pray for Josh. God, we pray in the name of Jesus that he would trust you that the comforter, the Holy Spirit would surround him in that room, heal his body, the skin that that needs to regraft, that needs to regrow. We pray against any infection in this broken skin, Lord God. I pray that you would restore all of these burns, Lord God. God. Lower the pain level, increase his tolerance for pain in this process, and let him see healing. Let him see that God is with him. We decree and declare healing over this young man in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We thank you for that, Lord God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Can I give one more praise report? Okay. Okay. Last week, we also prayed for Inala, who was going to have a baby. And I want you to know that Inala had her baby and that precious baby boy, Bumi Bulelo. I love that name. Repeat that one twice. Bumi Bulelo. He's got lots of hair. Mother and baby are doing great. And so you see, God cares. He's giving us new life. Yes. And he's restoring dreams yes. where maybe someone thought that wouldn't happen. Hallelujah. So right now, as we get ready to shift, I just felt in my spirit as we have been thanking God and praying for people in family units 
that right now God is saying to you, you have a family situation that feels so heavy. It feels like there's no way this can get corrected. It's really kind of hit hard home, close to home. I, we know that feeling. We've been there with our family many years ago as the Lord saw us through very dark situations with our own children, our own adult children. And so right now, I just want us to pray for the peace of God to filter through your family and that in spite of what it looks like, you will see the promised land ahead. Yes, yes, yes. So, Pastor, will you pray for that, that their Hallelujah. hearts would be encouraged? Hallelujah. Mothers, fathers, God, husbands, I wives. God, I pray that we will Thank trust you, Jesus. you through Thank this you, journey. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. God, you have promised Nothing never to put on us more than we can oh, bear. And Jesus. sometimes as parents and even as children, Lord, we think, oh, man, this Jesus, is the limit. Jesus, God, Jesus, I pray Jesus, that you Jesus. will come and renew our Thank strength you, Jesus. and we will Thank see you, it Jesus. differently, Thank Lord. You, and we will see the end, yes, Lord. Lord God. We will see it with faith. We will see it with promise yes. that you are coming through for us, yes, oh God. Lord Jesus. And that God, we, we can see that, the Lord. land just over there, yes, God, and we can receive the Healing result. in these families. And I pray it Healing. in Jesus' name. Healing. I pray it in Jesus' name. Let hope come name. alive. Let in hope Jesus come alive name. in Jesus' Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just for all of you, there's a whole lot more that have logged on. In case you're new, if you would like prayer and you want it, you don't care that it's public, you can just post it there in the chat. And maybe you want it private. Well, there's messages there for you to send it to the uh, online uh, email address of the church and there's people monitoring that for you right now and they get it immediately to Pastor Jen and that's how new, the new names are being called out. And several of you that are part of our fellowship, you also uh, have sometimes the Holy Spirit drops a scripture in you and so when we put those scriptures on, you can know that that's the word of God and the word of God pierces and divides everything that needs to happen. Yes. So as we stand upon the Holy Scripture, that's the promise of God. It's not the promise of Pastor Rick and Pastor Jim. It is the promise from heaven to each and every one of us right. that he will come through for each need that we bring to him. So don't hesitate to Amen. write us a note and then we include that in the prayer meeting. We have lists of people that call in, write in prior to Amen. the night, but we don't want you to think, well, well I've just got in that I, I can't, uh, I can't get my prayer need in there. Please don't do that. Mm -hmm. And I've got intercessors that are a part of this prayer meeting that then take your prayer request. They're writing them down. They take your prayer request and then continue to pray for them over the next number of week or so. Mm -hmm. So don't hesitate, don't ever hesitate. And thank you, Audrey, for giving us that email because as you send your emails, we are praying. We've been praying for a pastor family in India and he continues to write us updates how God is providing for them and helping the ministry. So we praise God for that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now you may be saying, Pastor, you're looking down a lot more than you normally <laughs> do. Well, let me tell you, my mom, um, has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And we gave that announcement uh, two weeks ago. And uh, she is in today for her second round of chemo. And um, so if you've not been following us, this is a, a, a difficult time, but God is still on the throne. And he's been helping and, her immensely. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, the symptoms have been very minimal. Hallelujah. And uh, so she has a big meeting today with her specialist, and they're supposed to be sending me some messages, which I haven't got yet, which you know me, so that's why I've been looking down. So uh, we're gonna pray for my mom right now, if that's okay. Uh, you know how much I pray for you guys, so let's, my, her name is Joan Pasquale, mm -hmm. and uh, yes. we're gonna pray that God removes pancreatic cancer yes. From her body. Would thank you do you, that Jesus. with me right Father, now? Father, I thank you that you are healing God, you Joan. Are the healing God. God, you are strengthening Take cancer her. Out of God, her God body. we rebuke it in the name, name of Jesus. God, God I thank you. Let them be marvelous. amazed. God, yes, Lord, God. I thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for healing helping virtue her. Of God, I thank you for her faith. As that I thank you for her strength, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, you are faithful. You are faithful. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Okay.
other Hallelujah. individual needs. Yes. Well, one of the things that we're going to pray for, we'll be shifting in a moment to pray for um, the church, church and for Sunday services where you are, where we are. Um, one of the things that we've been praying for is many of the ministries that um, needed to expand, but we can't come together. We can't meet in a close quarter. And one of that is children. You know, it's I can't imagine telling little kids they can't touch each other. They touch everything. So we, I am, our kids, I am so one. thankful for Joel and the team. I can't even tell you how many people are on the kids ministry team. And that includes the media and tech team that have been helping. That includes the office staff that have been helping with various things. So I want us to pray for kids camp online. I know we're probably not the only ones doing that. Many of you know that every summer we have the most amazing, we call it English summer kids camp at our church with hundreds of people and children and families. And so this happened just today that not only is it going to be for our kids in Italy, in Rome, and we've got prizes and special backpacks for them to pick up with all their supplies. Joel, I want us to pray for Joel because he is a university student and he is studying for some serious finals and next Wednesday starts kids camp. So I want us to pray for Joel because not only are our kids from Rome joining, we've got some of our families that have been in our kids camp before that have moved away to other countries, Kenya, uh, I think um, Dubai, U.S., uh, I can't even tell you where else, Nigeria, Uganda, okay? They have sent in and said, we want to be a part of Kids Camp Online. And so Joel is going to be emailing them all of the crafts, everything that they need to participate. So first of all, can we just pray for Joel? Joel. He has, and other university students that are studying. I know Yeti is also one of our leaders that is studying for her master's and has exams. So right now, Lord, Lord. I pray for Joel specifically as he prepares for kids ministry, kids camp online. God put yes, a hedge Lord. of protection around him. Keep his body strong. Keep his mind sharp. Yes, God, Lord. help him. I thank you that you have anointed him. What a blessing. I thank what you, Lord a blessing. God, that you what have helped him to pull in other leaders that have also the love of children yes, and the Lord. love of teaching them yes, the word of God. Lord. We thank yes, you for their Lord. Saturday activities that have been going on. And so, Lord, yes, I pray for the Lord. ones in Uganda yes, and Lord. beyond that yes, are going to join Lord. us next week. We pray for other university students that are involved in yes, leadership Lord. and ministry, yes, that Lord. God, you would help them in their yes, final exams. Lord. You would help them in their studies, that they would have confidence that what they have studied yes, will come to their yes, remembrance yes, and they Lord. will be successful yes, and they would be able to celebrate with those children. God, yes, I pray Lord. for children, Hallelujah. for the Hallelujah. parents and their Hallelujah. technology to work. We need technology to work yes, to do Lord. kids camp yes. online. Yes, so God, Lord. I pray for parents. I pray that the computer will work, that the iPad will work, that the tablet will work, that the Wi-Fi will work. And God, that children will know. And parents, if you're watching, I want you to understand something. Your kids and the Lord have set aside next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and even meeting at the park on Saturday, because we can be outside and not touch each other um, for, for kids camp. But it's in order to help us learn songs to let, help us learn to trust the Lord and to let our faith arise. So no matter what happens, I want us to now pray for the families of those kids because families are going to hear the message. They're going to, those kids are going to say, look what I got in my bag. Look what surprise I got. So right now, will you pray for the families of Kids Camp? Lord, Hallelujah. we ask you Hallelujah. to be with Jesus these families. Name. Be with mothers, fathers, aunties, God, uncles, nona, nonos, God. Lord God, grandparents. God, Jesus, I pray for our dear parents. sister Jackie Hallelujah. in Uganda and Ivy in Kenya yes. and their children that are watching. Hallelujah. We pray for our little Daniel, Jordan, God. God. I pray in Jesus' name Hallelujah. that their families would be yes. encouraged, Lord God, and that the joy yes. of learning yes. about Jesus and yes. singing about about Jesus yes, would be Lord. refreshing yes, to all Lord. of us, Lord yes, God. Lord. And I thank you that we're going to sow seeds Hallelujah. of faith Hallelujah. because we were Hallelujah. made to move mountains. Hallelujah. And those kids are going to get the faith they need Hallelujah. for those seeds of faith Hallelujah. to grow in their lives. Yes, we thank Lord. you for that, yes, Lord. Lord God. Praise Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Praise now we're going to pray Jesus. for Sunday's service. Yes. Hallelujah. And you know Hallelujah. how Hallelujah. big a deal that is to your pastor yes, Jesus. because Thank you, Jesus. you will not i mean i know you believe me but yes. uh, i mean Jesus. last week a hindu girl gets saved uh, amazing it's just amazing 
and Muslim people have been saved and other faiths have been saved. That They said they, they believed in God and that God didn't exist. No. But now they believe in, in, in God, Jehovah. And so we're praying first as the word goes out. This is our second week on God. God used us to speak this series on decisions in our lives. And faith moves our decisions. And this week we're talking about the Exodus and how God shows up in the Exodus. And so let's pray for Sunday services that God's going to pour out his spirit and use us to preach this gospel all over the world. And uh, as we pray for Sunday service, we are also launching a new care ministry and yes. it's called Church Online. Some of our other friends around the world are using this program. It's a link. It will be on the Facebook page. You can click over to Church Online, ICF Rome at Church Online. Maybe if someone knows the link, they could post it in here for me. But this is what happens. You're watching the message. And maybe you immediately feel the sense of urgency that you need prayer. And because we're all watching online and at home, we might feel alone. In this care ministry, you can go directly into a prayer room online and there will be our leaders that we have vetted that we know that they are trustworthy you can trust that they will give you sound words of encouragement they will point you to the right uh, scriptures in the bible and they will stand with you that this is something that you're not going to do alone if you're deciding to follow jesus more closely don't do it alone if you're walking through a sickness don't do it alone so as we pray for Sunday services, I want us to pray. Thank you. Yes, it's right there, churchonline.com. And I want us to pray that as people begin to really be able to interact with us during the service, yes. even more so than like this chat, but really to go into, like I said, a prayer room, a lobby, um, a things where after church you can be still talking with someone. Right, right. Um, so uh, our, we have wonderful leaders that have just taken this on and have made this happen. Yes. So, Father, right now, we thank you for Sunday services. Yes, God, God, I thank you for the, the messages that you spirit, have poured oh into Pastor Rick and oh I. God. I thank you that this topic of faith moves our decision is oh a timely God. message oh for God. right now. Oh and God, God, you know that so many people are faced with decisions. Big so, decisions, Lord, oh as they hear the message, God, as they engage let online, let the them also that know that they can in click Egypt. into that prayer room. Jesus, that they can get care that will follow up. even after Hallelujah. the service. So, Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for the anointing to fall yes, on Sunday. Yes, I pray for the yes, worshipers, yes, whether they're God. the worshipers online yes, or the God. worshipers yes, in the house, God. the media, yes, all of it. Lord God, as we serve you, our hearts stay alive yes, and beating Lord. and yes, vibrant. Lord. And so, yes, Lord, Lord, I pray for an atmosphere in every Thank home. You, God, God you, you God. are letting people make their house your house. Yes, God. So I pray right now that you would even prepare the place where the message is going to be heard on Hallelujah. Sunday. Hallelujah. Prepare the physical Hallelujah. place. Hallelujah. Prepare the spiritual place. Yes, God. You're going to be hearing the yes, message God. on Sunday. Yes, You're God. going to be receiving the word of God on Sunday. Hallelujah. So will you also help me Hallelujah. pray for Pastor Hallelujah. Rick? God, I pray for the anointing Hallelujah. to flow on Sunday. I pray for Hallelujah. it to flow Hallelujah. online. I pray for the unction of the Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. the mantle from heaven to fall on Hallelujah. this man of God, Hallelujah. that he will disperse the word of God Hallelujah. to us that will drastically keep us on that straight and narrow path yes, that Lord. God has for each of us, yes, that it will encourage our hearts not yes, to yield Lord. to the yes, left Lord. or the right, yes, but Lord. to keep looking to you, the yes. author and the finisher of our faith walk, Lord Jesus, that we will know you always have a plan. Hallelujah. You always have Hallelujah. a Moses. Hallelujah. We're not stuck in Egypt, Lord God. You have a promised land that yes, you're getting us to. Yes, so yes. we thank you that your anointing will flow. Hallelujah. I thank you for the prayer partners, whether it's in the care ministry online and they come into the prayer room or whether it's like Mary at the church after service praying. God, we pray right now for prayer ministry teams, yes. even the pre-service prayer. 
that the unction of the Holy Spirit yes, would be there. Yes, so God, I pray yes, for Lord. prayer members. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, we need them to be strong. We need them to be full Hallelujah. of faith. Don't let one thing hinder or discourage yes, your, those yes. prayer warriors this yes, week. Yes. Let them know as they have interceded and prayed so faithfully for others that we are standing for them yes, right now, yes. that we are praying that their needs would be met, yes. that their hearts would be encouraged, yes, that their Lord. bodies would yes, be rejuvenated and refreshed. Yes, weekend, Lord God, God we thank you for in it. Jesus thank name. you, Jesus. In thank Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. We also want to pray for our classes online. We yes. have two classes going on right now, Connect to Grow and to Connect to Lead. And you can still register online for those classes as well. Our teens are also meeting with Casey Nochi on Sunday. We've got two more Sundays with Casey at four o'clock on Sundays. And you can gather all of that information online. But right now, I want you to know God wants you to grow. And when you're a part of a class, it's also not just for you. But as you share and you talk in a Zoom or a Google Hangout, you're encouraging someone else in that process. Yes. We have some amazing teachers, amazing. amazing, who love discipling us in the Word of God. So I want us to pray for those classes online, yes. whatever they are. God, I pray for those teachers. Yes, Lord. Lord, you know the yes, teachers. Lord. You know the yes, burdens Lord. that they bear this week. And God, I pray that they Hallelujah. would be refreshed Hallelujah. and that those Hallelujah. classes online Hallelujah. would put the roots deep for discipleship, Hallelujah. that people Hallelujah. would learn to Hallelujah. stand in the Word of God for their life, that they would learn how to trust you, how yes, to grow, yes, how Lord. to be people of leadership and influence exactly where they are. Yes, so Lord. Lord, we thank you for our teachers. We thank you for our students. Yes, Lord. And we thank you for the victory that we learn to walk through when yes, we stand Lord. upon yes, the word Lord. of God. We yes, thank Lord. you for this opportunity, Hallelujah. Lord God, Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Hallelujah. you may have joined us tonight Hallelujah. for this time of prayer, and you say, hey, Pastor, I, man, I want, I want to get involved in that class. I want to do better on getting online. I want to help on that. You say, and you may be sitting there saying, but I don't, I'm not tech savvy. Mm -hmm. I, I can't get all this stuff. And, and let me just tell you this as your pastor. Listen, our world is changing. And this is one of those components of our world that we got to get a little more knowledge on. Mm -hmm. And so well, this is what I want to do for you. You say, Pastor, I need some help. I've got some people that want to help you. Mm -hmm. They are brilliant kids, young adult age, that are just brilliant in this subject. And they can help you log in, do your thing. But We've tried to make our online things that you process. sign up, the process as simple as can be. It's just like registering in our church. You have to register because of our, our, our notices. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, tell Wait. them about what I want to do. This is my mother. I okay, got to deal with it. this. Got we it. want to get them all signed up. Yes. So we want to get you signed up. Pastor's going to uh, be in a doctor's visit with his mom right now. But we want you to trust the Lord in these discipleship classes. And so if you need help, you can let someone know and they will help you figure out how to. We've got a couple different ones who have helped different people register. We need you to register. We're still dealing with the limit on how many people can arrive. And we've been maxed out the last couple of weeks. And so when you register early, say early, somebody type early in the chat. It's Wednesday night. Listen, you know if you want to come to church or not on thir on Sunday morning. I want you to register. Click click register to go early on Sunday morning. I'm so back. that <laughs> that was fast. Well, it's delayed. Know, my mother, she's 83. It's delayed. No, it's delayed just a minute cuz my mother pressed the wrong button. Okay, do you need to go? No, no, no. I'm good. <laughs> okay. So, this is what I want you to know. I want you to be able to get help for this and you can let me know, you can let someone else know. But if you don't register for these events and then you come, and I want you to come because we've allowed a gap so that there's enough for those who actually couldn't register and we know some of you you're probably not watching this, but so we have allowed for that and that's happening. But then we have to tell people on Saturday night at midnight or Sunday morning at 930 when sometimes they need to already be on the bus coming that they shouldn't come. They should watch online today. So please help us early. Somebody else type early. Yes, thank you. Yeah, register early to come to church and you'll be happy that you did because it's not a decision you know, just because we're meeting in different ways, you need to be in church. And so another component, you know, you, you know my heart for lost people. 
and we're reaching millions of people now through our, our, our ministries. And a lot of people are giving their life to Christ. And maybe it's just for the older people that's listening. And I saw some of the names, you're, you're a little bit older. <laughs> the college kids and university kids, they already got this. All you have to do is press one button on the Facebook option and one button on the YouTube and it's one button. And you press that you wanna share this. You're sharing this and you're liking it. So press like and share. And when you do that, the word just kind of goes shoom. A whole lot more people receive that. Mm -hmm. And we have a link. It's actually on the cover page of the Facebook. <laughs> she got so excited, she moved everything. <laughs> um, that um, tells you the different ways you can watch. So on the YouTube channel, on the live stream channel, we have the Spanish version and the Italian version. So there are multiple languages available for you to watch and listen. The translation happens. Thank you, Benny, for putting these things in the chat as well. So you can share it with someone. And the first time is going to be the most challenging time. But once After you get that, it, you'll get it. Mm -hmm. Is the kids camp in Italian too? Yes. Well, Joel speaks everything. So, yeah. So, yeah. so if you're online with us even tonight and say, hey, I'd like to get my kids in there, but they only speak Italian. It will be also in Italian. And maybe you've joined us for the first time tonight and you say, well, I'm a Spanish speaker. Well, on our normal Sunday services, we have it translated in Spanish and Italian and, of course, English. And so, and we do have French available. So if you needed that. So we wanted to give you a little bit of that update as we conclude our night of prayer. Mm -hmm. And don't ever forget, we are always available. Send us a note and say, hey, I need prayer for. I've got all kinds of people that love to pray. Mm -hmm. And all we have to do is send out the word that, hey, we're praying for. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for praying for my mom. I'm yes. great. Amen. And you know, we always end our prayer meetings with thanks. We thank the Lord in advance. We thank him after. We thank him in the middle. And we thank him at the end. But I want you, if the Lord has done something, whether it's peace, whether it's sleep, whether it's healing, whether it's resources or finances, I'm just asking you to type one word right now. In the chat right now, would you type something that you're thankful for? I tell you what, I could type, I'm thankful for God healing my family in different ways. He has healed family members in these past couple months. Amazing. So will you type one word in that chat that you're saying, I'm thankful for God healing or God doing. I'm thankful for peace. I'm thankful for joy because we're praying together. And so as we thank the Lord, as we finish this prayer, I want you to remember that tomorrow, Thursday Connect Online is at noon. We're going to be talking about the value of investing in friendships. It's an insightful discussion with my dear friend, Mary Chieri. And then next week, I have to tell you as well, we have Dr. Mary Mahan from Costa Rica, who's been in Venezuela. She's been in Costa Rica. She's been around Latin America. She is the director of Child Hope. And um, she's going to have a powerful word for us next Thursday as well. So I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for the, the fact that we don't pray alone. Amen. I'm thankful that I know by seeing your comments in the chat, by seeing that you're with us, Joey, Benny, that I feel encouraged. And then I get to come back and tell you about these answers to prayer. Yes, Mary. Yes, Ellen. Amen. Thank you, Julia. I see that. So we are thankful. So right now, Father, we're Thank just going to give this evening to you. Thank We're you. thankful for peace. Thank you, We're thankful that you answer prayer. Thank We're you, thankful Lord. for Thank godly you, friendships. Thank We're you, thankful Jesus. that you Thank give you, us Jesus. joy. Thank oh, you, God, we have gratitude in our heart that you Thank hear you, Lord, and Jesus. answer your Thank people. You, Lord, Jesus. God, that you give us a new mindset. Thank you, Lord, that Jesus. you fix our bodies when they're broken, that you fix our finances. You, yes, Lord. we're thankful for provision. Thank you, Charles. We're thankful for the protection that God gives to our family yes, members. Lord. And so, Lord, I thank you that you are heard our prayers tonight. I thank you that you we have been able to touch heaven together. Yes. I thank you that right thank now, as you, people Lord, prepare to go to sleep, you, Lord. Lord, we prayed for sleep before, and people have wrote me, written me and said, I slept for the first time in two weeks. I didn't wake up. I slept like uh, so peaceful, so 
So God, as some people prepare to go to sleep, as some people continue on with their day in other time zones, I pray that the peace of God, yes. which passes all human understanding and strategy. Thank you, Lord. God, that the peace of God would motivate your people to be trusting of you, to have joy Hallelujah. and faith Hallelujah. that will move a mountain. We are thankful for life. We are thankful that God gives us the faith we need. And I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for God's goodness. He yes. is a good, good father. Amen. He Amen. is a good, good father. Thank you, Lord. So I will see some of you. Yes, thank you, Samson. We're thankful for healing. We will see some of you tomorrow on Thursday. Connect online at noon. We will see. Yes, Bose, thank you for that. We're thankful for peace. I'm thankful for new beginnings. You know, even in the middle of all this 2020 year, this summer, July, kind of started new beginnings for people. It's a new way of doing life. It's a new way of doing things. But you know what? New keeps your brain working, keeps your heart pumping. <laughs> you got to keep thinking Especially about how I'm going to do it. So I'm thankful for new things. Amen. And I want you to be thankful because God's going to do a new thing in your life as you trust in him. Go to sleep tonight knowing that he's with you and join us Sunday online for a powerful message about how God helps us. You don't want to miss it. I'm telling you, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be that power punch that you need. God is going to do it. And I want you to know he is healing and restoring families. He's given us new beginnings. Yes, Mary, thank you for that peace in the midst of chaos. So Father, for joining thank us. you, Lord. Be with your people. Help them to have trust in yes, you. Lord. Help them to love you. Help them to sleep well and help them to wake up excited about the day tomorrow and the people that they will get to interact yes, with Lord. and influence with the joy of the yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us. We love you. Be blessed. Bonanotte.